I'm Kathy Wren at AAAS, the nonprofit science society that publishes the journal Science. I'm talking today with Glenn Tattersall of Brock University, who is the lead author of a study that will appear this week in Science. So Dr. Tattersall, what question did you set out to answer in this study? Well, we wanted to know the consequences of the toucan having such a large bill. Um, many people probably recognize the toucan, a highly recognizable bird. This bird's beak is larger than that of most other birds compared to its body size. And biologists all the way back to Darwin and even before have debated the purpose of the enormous beak. Um, now I can't quite give you the answer to the ultimate why question, why did the bill evolve to be this way? Um, so we focused mainly on providing some valuable information on the constraints or benefits of having a large bill. And what did you find? Well, we found that the bill can act basically like a thermal window or thermal radiator that allows it to release or conserve body heat, and just like the elephant's ear, many people are probably more familiar with, with that. And how did you make this discovery? Um, well, using infrared thermography, which is a non-invasive uh, technology initially developed by, I think, the U.S. military and is used widely in surveillance fields, has been more recently used in biomedical imaging. So we used basically these uh, thermal imaging cameras to monitor the temperature, the surface temperature of the bill when the animals were being exposed to a wide range of air temperatures. And we could tell, therefore, whether they were diverting warm blood to the bill and having the surface temperature warm up, or whether they were restricting blood to the, to the bill and uh, therefore allowing the bill to remain cool or close to air temperature. Thank you. So now we're going to see two examples. Uh, can you explain what's happening in these videos? Certainly. Well, the first, uh, both videos actually represent recordings taken during natural sleep in toucans. We would set the thermal imager up to view a toucan just prior to sunset and record them falling asleep. The first video shows just that, about two hours worth of video. Uh, what you're seeing here is a time lapse, um, so there's a rather rapid playback speed. And what we observed that even though the air temperature itself is uh, not that warm, around about 20 degrees, the bird has an extremely warm bill, maybe 10, 15 degrees warmer than the ambient temperature. As it falls asleep, uh, the bill actually warms up transiently and then eventually cools back down to air temperature, nearly a 10 degree change. If you notice, the pink edge of the bill uh, gradually turns purple and then eventually goes down to blue, the lower temperature on the scale. These changes in bill temperature likely accompany a change in core temperature of the, of the bird, um, as it's common in warm-blooded animals or endothermic animals to lower their body temperature during sleep. These birds adopt the lower temperature, but in order to do that, they have to dump the body heat somewhere, and we're proposing that they use the bill to dump that body heat. Our second video is um, from a later stage in the sleep phase of the toucan. What you're looking at here is a 2.7 hour trace demonstrating that the, the toucan has fully gone to sleep, has adopted a typical sleep posture of birds where they tuck the, head be, or tuck the bill um, behind the head and between the wings. Um, but unique to the toucans and toucanettes is they actually reflect their tail feathers uh, backwards over top of the bill. And this sort of rather awkward position uh, appears to be an attempt to insulate the bill from the environment, but the thermal imaging still reveals the heat um, coming or emanating from the bill um, tucked behind the feathers. And that, so you'll see, hopefully, in, in, the, in the video here, you'll note the bill transiently warming up and cooling down, going from colors of, of purple or blue back up to oranges and yellows. And then towards the end of the video, it starts to warm up again. Um, so, and this is happening even though the birds are not moving or even appearing to wake up. It's just simply staying asleep uh, on its perch. We think these are the results of changes in sleep state. We need to confirm this, obviously, but the major reason we presented the video was to demonstrate that, in principle, uh, the bill is not a statically, uh, or is held at a static temperature, but can be relatively variable in temperature. Okay, well, thank you very much for doing this interview for the Science Press Package team. No, you're welcome.